name is Braylon Brooks, and I'm here also at Singster.tv, and we're here at Saks Fifth Avenue in Beverly Hills, and I'm here with Kevin Guerrero right here, regional stylist, makeup artist, the whole nine right here. He's going to tell us a little about the fall 2012-13 collection from NARS, and a little bit about his beauty secrets top five. You have to give us your top five. And uh, he's about to give us the in and out, the inside scoop. So tell us a little about what's going on. Well, I think definitely for fall, it's going to be all about bold brows because brows have to definitely make a statement. Um, complexions are going to be a little bit more, you know, um, subdued as far as uh, co color. So complexions are going to be very, very natural, very skin on skin, looks like skin, behaves like skin, and then as far as blush will be very subdued. Did you just say behave like skin? Oh, yeah. oh that's a new term. Oh, yeah. We're going to hashtag that, behave like skin. I like that. And so therefore, you know, once you create a beautiful frame to the brow, we're going to put a little bit of statement on the lash, on the eyeliner, and then of course a deeper wine current or like garnet color for the lips. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this pi palette that you were talking about. The Los Angeles um, palette. That can, we, can we see it? Yeah, of course we can. So this is a NARS, I love Los Angeles, and this, actual, this palette was actually created because these are the most popular colors that we use in LA. So like, oh, really? Yeah, so Deep Throat Blush, Laguna Bronzer, you know, um, Epsenia Eyeshadow, Ocha Mare, Bali Eyeshadow, the new shadow Argentine. Hey, may I, may, might I add something? If this is orgasm, correct? Deep Throat. Deep Throat, I'm sorry. Well, I know for a fact that Deep Throat and Orgasm are the most two popular blushes that I know of that are from NARS. Is that right? Yeah, most definitely. All over the world for makeup artists. And I do have a product that, of course, it's an Orgasm name product. And this is one of my ultimate favorites, uh, Multiple Stick. This is pretty phenomenal because you can use it on the lips, on the cheeks, and on the eyes. So it's, can you demonstrate something on her? So he's going to demonstrate on how this, this tool here, this product can be used on the cheeks, lips, and what else? And eyes. And eyes. So you want to kind of stipple it a little bit on the uh, apples of the cheek. And then go ahead and blend. The key is to stipple and to be very gentle on the skin, of course. She's a good model. She has a good canvas for whatever you're about to do. If you notice, it just gives a beautiful, sheer, illuminated glow without it looking ultra-defined. It looks very natural. I like that. Yeah, it's like a halo of, of color. And the skin just looks fresh. You can use the actual edge of the of the multiple stick on the brow bone, underneath the actual brow bone on the actual bridge of the eye, and lightly tap on it to diffuse the color. And notice, I love how you're using your hands oh. and just the stick. I love that. Yes, I like to use both fingertips and brushes. That's a true artist. I love it. And then, of course. Oh wow, that's intense. I love it. And she has the perfect haircut, though, like for that look and that color. Because the hair color is a little bit more warmer. So for the beautiful peachy, corally pink with a little bit of that gold overlay highlights your skin really. I love good. how you color coordinate because a lot of women don't know their color wheel. So can you give us just a little inside scoop on how a woman would use her color wheel in uh, cosmetics to from as far as like hair color or whatever their genetics are? We I feel that we no longer live in the world of color me beautiful where you would kind of like right. you know be very matchy matchy. I just feel that when a makeup artist actually consults a woman of any age, um, we need to take into account hair color, skin tone, the decollete color, you know, the smile, the enamel, and eye color. I think everything comes into play because when you're choosing blush, eyes, and lips, it has to make the teeth brighter, it has to make the skin more luminous, and it has to be able to illuminize the eyes without whether you want to frame it or not, it should always be about brightening and radiance and illumination, even if you're using deeper colors. And, and one thing I like about this, I love how it's like one color on her eyes, one color on her cheeks, no, another color on her eyes, another color on her cheeks, and another color on her lips, and it's all one color. Like, I like that. That's, uh, that's pretty inc incredible. Something that was completely visionary and so ahead of its time when, uh, you know, Francois Nars created this because um, it's for the woman on the go. You know, it's for any woman that wants makeup and wants it to be practical. And I think no matter how uh, makeup savvy women are, we want things that are practical for ourselves. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, most definitely. So, are, are you, uh, Mr. Kevin Guerrero, are you on any social media, Twitter, Facebook, Who Say, Instagram, MySpace, even? Always. Uh, Twitter is uh, Keviano G. My Instagram is Keviano Makeup Artist. And Facebook fan page is Keviano Guerrero Makeup Artist. All right, that just happened with the regional stylist right here at NARS. Fall 2012 collection, right? 2013? No. <laughs>
Fall, fall 2013 collection right here. That just happened. Thank you. So